Hey everybody, it is Quicken and good morning. You might hear some construction next door and there's no sense of me being here and trying to film while it is happening. So I am going to be making an Ikea run. Yes, I will be driving and I am sad about it. I could take the bus to Ikea, but today I am going to be looking at coffee tables. I am doing a living room redo and had the intention of giving the coffee table I already have a like concrete countertop, but I have been looking around and the coffee table I really want from Ikea is only about $40. And I believe that's really affordable and probably on par with the concrete tabletop idea. And, you know, I think buying a table may be more realistic for some people who don't have a carpenter living in their house. I tried to think about that. Anyway, I'm going to be buying some things right here for my living room video. But this video... You alright, honey? In this video today, I'm also beginning... I will also take you along to get some things for my bathroom. So, for the longest time, I have been joking around that I only had a bath in my bathroom and not a shower. And eventually it was at a point where I was protesting so hard. I said, no more freaking Broncos until I can bathe with a rain. Our plumber, Steve came over and installed the shower for us. Effing finally. <laughs> it was at a point where I put up all my shower curtains and I was like, okay, if you have to take a bath, take them out. So our shower curtains don't match because we have like a 360 tub. So I thought maybe I would get some accessories for the bathroom today as well, now that we are tub people. So, shower people, don't forget it. So I have made a list of things for my living room and bathroom, and we will hang out and go to Ikea today via an automobile, and we can see how well I can park. I'm good at parking in parking lots. It's when I come home and have to parallel park on a block where some people in my neighborhood have like more than four cars. Anyway, hang out with me today. Let's b head out to Ikea. Honey. Where am I going? Oh, I don't want to leave you. I'm sorry. Can you become my emotional support cat? I'm like obsessed with you. I should be okay on highways because I just drove to King of Prussia the other day. Car crash cam. Why would you say that? <laughs> if you haven't seen that video. But it is really windy today in Philadelphia and I'm also not super confident on highways. Um, <clears throat> because I'm not a very fast driver. In my, like, when I used to drive, I had a Monte Carlo, which is like a little race car, kind of. And I was really able to, like, gauge the speed on that. It felt like you were going the speed you were going. In the minivan, my, I feel like my foot is like, the pedal is on the floor and I don't feel like I'm going very fast at all. So she's a, she's a cruiser. It takes her a minute. So with that, I'm just like very not used to driving very fast in, in this van. I took an Uber the other day that was like, I don't think we should take the expressway, is that okay? And I was like, oh my God, yeah. Well, it was a Lyft. Um, but then he said I was a beautiful girl, and I was like, ooh, so, like, that's nice of you, but, like, shh, let's not. He also told me he was an aspiring model, and then took off his hat and, like, swooshed his hair back, and I was like, so, it's early, and I take a lift, like, once a season and you're really not making it easy on me right now and that was for so spencer had me for their like holiday shoot for social media for their like um spencer's workshop they like sell ugly sweaters and like christmas accessories what do you call the what do you call the heater in your house radiator that's right i had to get up at like 6 a.m for that photo shoot because we had to be at the mall before it opened which is like i guess a theme in my life now so that was super fun, but that early in the morning, the buses are still on a night schedule. 
and it was raining and I had done my hair and makeup for the shoot it was one of those those times where I took a lift first thing you have to do when you get to uh Ikea is to get your free cup of coffee if you are an Ikea member, which I am. <laughs> the coffee's black because there's no uh, like non-dairy option, but it's still, it's still fun. You get to sit down and recoup from your dangerous mission. Oh my god. At my Ikea, there's this just like boat over here. <laughs> uh, we'll look at it when we go to the cafe. so cute. Oh, and a basket is such a good idea. Oh, I kind of love those. Oh my god. Really? So, I seriously love IKEA. I've in complete honesty come here before like just to like clear my mind and relax and like just walk around. I know that probably sounds really stupid, but it's a million percent true. Just like hop on the bus and then come to Ikea and just like bop around. I came here once and like some teens, I don't know, recognized me. It made me feel really weird, but like other than that one absolute one time, like this is my, my happy place, like completely. All right, we're in the cafe. Let's get some brew and sit for a second. I almost got something to eat. Their um, vegan selection is like pretty good. <laughs> I remember I came here with Ryan and we like just had dinner and didn't even look at anything else, which is always super fun. But I have my coffee. Reminds me of college drinking coffee black. Here's the boat. I know one of my subscribers works in the cafeteria and I came here with Uncle Dave and him and I were eating. And she came up to us and she was like, oh, is that John? <laughs> Coffee table I want, like, in action. And it looks like they have it pressed up against the side of the couch. I think it's a fair size. I like the detailing. And it's kind of like a matte kind of texture. So I really like it. I think this and, like, a couple accessories, like that tray, honestly, are going to be perfect. I'm worried about the, like confliction of different woods but this and literally this texture are the like woods in my living room so I think I think it all looks really good so it's $60 I th thought it was like 40 but I still think that it's great for my size living room so I just have to find it in the wild but I love it staged in here I think that looks really cute so realistically, I'm looking for all things small space and most of these are set up in a little bit of a larger space than what I have, but I am just, I thought about getting nesting tables and there's actually some nesting tables I had my eye on on display, but they're a bit more expensive and although they're super, super cute, I believe they're like $200, yeah, $279. And although there's really special, I just like, I think that one, if I could buy just one, it would be perfect. <laughs> but I think the other table will be perfect as well. They're really, really special, but kind of out of my budget for what I'm looking for. This is literally my couch. So it's nice to come in here and like see how your living room would be set up. And they have them with these like wheelie tables, which... I don't think would work for us, but it's kind of nice because I did want the option to like get rid of my coffee table if I needed to, but I think they're like too sensitive. Like I don't think you can lock the wheels. So that wouldn't work for us with like my cats jumping on everything. But that couch is sexy in blue. Here's my table. Um here's the table I I really like but I think that this will be perfect in my house it's small it's well priced and I have to take a picture of the little thing so I have 
one thing I can mark off my list. Coffee table. Check. Next is shower curtain, shelf brackets, literally everything else. Oh my god, how cute are these cork coasters? I wonder if they stack. Oh well, I'm grabbing them. Always love to look in the kids section when I'm at Ikea. I think it's, you know, there's always some really cool things here. Things that like are bright and pop and just like... I at least always give it a... A little bit of a checkout. I wish that Target and Ikea had like their bedding in Queen for kids, maybe? Aren't there like super bougie kids out there with Queen? Like that's just so fun and special. Her. I'm kind of looking for storage right now for kids. Like, that's so super fun. Okay, time to head downstairs. That's, this is where, like, you can buy. Let's see what we got here. So here are some light pink like hand towels and I like these because they have like a little hook so I think I'm gonna get two of these for my shower and I'll get like two suction cup hooks and set those up. Hey, hey everybody, it is haul time? Question mark? <laughs> okay, so I just wanna share some of the stuff that I grabbed from Ikea because I was sharing it with you guys as I was shopping, but then it was getting later and John was calling, so I kinda just got out of there. So here's my little haul from Ikea. I mentioned that I was getting those little pink towels and I decided to get dark gray. I thought this would be good for John who is like dirty, dirt won't show up, and for my hair if I'm doing it like orange and stuff. I feel like the pink might be a little unforgiving with that. Although pink towels are beautiful and I feel like I could wash them like on hot and really get them clean. These are cute and they're a really generous size for like in shower, especially if you're like wringing your hair or like drying your face in shower to put like a face mask on. I think that these are really handy and they have the little loop at the top. So I think that's a really generous size and I'm glad to have them. So I got these little bathroom suction cup hooks for my tile in my shower. We'll like do this together. I think it'll be pretty quick. I started cleaning my bathroom so we'll pop in there after this little haul. These were $4.99 for the two hooks. They sold single hooks, but I think for the same price. So I was like, all right, we'll each get our own hook. I, I don't think we really needed it, but maybe it'll create like a balance. Next, I got this cutting board and it's like wood. I got this for on top of my radiator. We'll like put drinks down and stuff and like balance them on the radiator. I have like a little tray that is far too small so I thought this would be really cool and unique and I feel like a cup and like a bowl of cereal let's be real could fit on this pretty well and it's like kind of unique and it will be heat resistant it will be it won't melt next I got this cat tube it was $2.99 on sale and I think that these cat tubes are super fun this one has ties so you can kind of keep it somewhere so I'm really excited to figure out where I'm going to put this cat tube. Maybe I'll put it in my window. I don't know, but I I just I just love my cats so much. And for $2.99, why would I not? I got a regular ass cutting board for Thanksgiving. Right now, the only cutting board we have is like a flimsy little cutting board for like lemons, <laughs> like to cut lemons for a drink. But that's our only cutting board in the house for lemons. So last Thanksgiving, I was really struggling because I made everything from scratch. So this is your standard. This was the cutting board I had in my home growing up cutting board and it's not gonna take up a lot of space. And 
It's a million percent better than the lemon cutting board. Next, I have this. It's a little scratcher from Ikea. I don't know how much this was. I was going to say like $5.99, but it has these... I'm not ready to debut it. It has these like Velcros so it can go around something. So I think when I put my new couch cover on, I'm going to put this on one of the arms and maybe like defer some sort of scratching. And I think this kind of naturally brown tone won't look very disruptive in my living room. I think that this is gonna be really cool. Next, I got this little black hook. I think that's gonna be really cute for my powder room because I have nothing to hang towels on in there because I rarely have guests. So when I wash my hands down there, I just walk into the kitchen and dry my hands off there. Finally, this little trash can thing actually has a suction cup hook on the back. So I'll keep like my razor and stuff in here. I have a little like side of the tub caddy that is very disgusting that I want to get rid of. So this replaces that. Um, the other two things I got were a large picture frame and of course my coffee table. Finally, when I was in the as is section, I got a shower curtain. Oh, it's right here. So I got this shower curtain in as is and it's not perfect. I, I already washed it. I washed this and my hand towels already. So it is this white with blue stripes. So I got this for $2 and I was going to go to Target after going to Ikea and just get a clear shower curtain because I thought that would be the vibe. But when I saw this one for $2, I was like, okay, it's fabric so I can put it in the washing machine if it starts to get like soap build up or whatever on it so that's nice and I'm not buying plastic but for two dollars I really just was like what I want in my shower is just one kind of cohesive color and Ikea didn't offer any clear shower curtains but I felt like I was rolling the dice expecting Target to have like a clear shower curtain as well so I'm gonna hang this one up and see if I like it. And if I don't like it, it really doesn't matter because it was only $2. And when I looked up my current shower curtain, it was $65. I did not pay $65 for my shower curtain, but I bought it three years ago. I bought it in 2017 when maybe there was a ton of them. And now the only ones you can find are like on eBay. I didn't even know it was like a designer or anything like that. I was just like, oh, cute, affordable. And now it's $65, which sucks. Ideally, I would have a 360 of two of the same shower curtain, but it's not that important to me and I can't pay $65. So $2, kind of the vibe, is good enough for me. So let's head up to my bathroom and see what's up. Okay, so I have my laundry and I'm going to set it up. I just mopped in here, so put down this little mat. So this is my current shower situa situation. Um, just like a miss mishmash of products that I would love to organize. And then I have two different shower curtains. And this was the shower curtain I was talking about earlier, how it's like kind of clear, it's really cute and beautiful. And in a perfect world, I would have this 360 because I really do like this. It's nice to be able to like look out, I guess, I don't know. Um, but today I'm going to take down the green one, replace it with this white one, and then install those little hooks. I'm going to install them back here because I feel like you can kind of like and like come through here you like that noise so you could get your like towels and stuff over here and I still think that'll look pretty cute and it won't be like super cluttered over here and I'm gonna organize all that
I hung those up uh, the wrong way. I'll fix those in a second. But here is the shower all set up to be a shower. I'm so excited. I I get that those are a little low, <laughs> but the suction cups were a little tricky. I think if I get brave, I'll raise them, but for now, I don't want to mess with them. So here is everything. Oh, that's so super cute. I, I kind of love that. It like, I mean, you can't really access that back lip of the tub anyway. So that's pretty fine. So here it is. And I think it looks really cute with the new white in the back because you can't really get a 360 of my tub anyway. You can't walk on the other side. So I think that's a lot cuter than having that dark green. You can't really tell, and I didn't spend $60 on the matching curtain. So I put some things that I don't reach for all the time in this little bucket down here. That bucket is from Dollar Tree. And then just cleaned up a little bit all of this area. When you're in my shower, the shower head is kind of far in. So this completely closes. But you do have like access to this stuff, you know? So this is kind of like John's stuff. And then I just cleared out any empties that I had up here and just put it all stuff that I use regularly in these two little notches. And then this is so cute, having this little area away from all of this, which helps keep this nice and clean. I think that that's super cute and it's not gonna like bother anybody. No one can really see it and be like, oh, you shave. So that is covered. And like I said, when you're in here, you just kind of reach your arm back here if you need to like, that is such a big improvement for only a couple bucks. These were $4.99, the shower curtain was $2, and I think this was like $3 or $4.99. But I think that makes such a big difference, and it's so cute to have like a for real shower. Don't worry, this is all installed with waterproof and water can get wet light bulb and stuff like that. I, I, John, that's what John said, I don't know much about that stuff. But this is my new shower, all complete, and wow, I just love it. I am a sweating mess from cleaning and stuff like that, but I am so happy to have a nice, clean, cohesive bathroom that works and isn't pretend like the shower literally works and I am about to take one. I love the feeling of all fresh towels and everything like that in my bathroom, so I'm very, very excited. And it was fun to have a like clean with me video, I think. So let me know what you think down below. Ah, I love Ikea and I'm so excited to just like, th this is so fun to me. Anyway, let me know if you like videos like this by giving this video a thumbs up. And I love you guys so, so much. This is on my second channel. So if you're new to my second channel, make sure you subscribe and get ready for my living room transformation. I will link a video down below where I redid my entire bathroom. If you missed that, I think that that's a good jumping off point because I didn't explain a ton of things going on in my bathroom, but you know, shower updates are super cute. Anyway, I love you guys and until next time, bye.